So you're on the fence about the 03 system. Maybe you heard a lot of negativity about the goggles too. Well, this is my three month unbiased update on the DJI 03 and goggles too. Let's go. Uh, I've been wanting to make this video for a while. Um, I'm in the park with my kids, so uh, yeah, I exploded on the first pack, and, and I'm done for the day. And um, they still playing, <laughs> you know, I can't wrap it up because daddy, daddy got to go fix the squad. So, All right, so we ain't playing around the bush. Let's start off with the cons. The cons are very important. They're going to make a big, that's the stuff we don't like, so we're going to get that out of the way. <sighs> the price, big con, it's digital. So we have to take that into consideration. Digital, all the system right now is expensive. Considering what the O3 system is, it's it's it's, it's on the line. It's it's what I expected pretty much. I expected 200 bucks. 240 is kind of pushing it. Um, after tax and stuff, it's 220 plus tax. Okay, another gigantic con to the O3 system has got to be the camera size. The camera size, these y'all, what you doing? throughout the scrapbook everything I think that was so just jacked up and arrogant big collabs of them to just throw a camera out there it's bigger than all the frames and then everybody just forced to adapt it's so funny how I watched a Barwell live stream and his frustration on his frame coming out to fit the house the 03 system because he know people gonna want to fly and he know people that flew his frame not gonna fly his frame just because they can't fly the um can't fly the O3 if they if they DJI so so that's a big con right there they um the van over frame van over um still he got some you know janky uh, standoff setup that you can do it's just everybody everybody had to um accommodate to the to the um camera too big camera too big <laughs> stop recording on this arm. The problem with that is we should give us an option to do that or um, stop recording so long after the disarm or something like that. It depends on flying style, but if you like the perch, I, I like the perch and you know, I'm just, I'm into a lot of trying to perch now and I'm into a lot of stuff right now trying to um, juice up my flying style, but perching is one thing and your perch, what I do, <laughs> what I do now is I got air mode on the switch and I, um, I air mode to land. Um, turn off air mode to land and um, basically leave the motors idle um, while I'm perched on something, and that's that's um, that's just the option you got. That's that's um, that's a limit to what you got, what you're working with. If you recording with the 03 camera and using that camera for your um, flight footage. All right, Deej, we can beat you up enough. We don't give you some pros now. It's the pros on the 03, which of course it got to be some for us to rock it. And one of the big pros is, um, this is going to go back to the beginning when we talk about price. One of the big pros is is the durability of the camera inside the frame. The durability has got to be an awesome pro. I was really um, scarce on it at first because the um, the way the camera is, it protrudes. And you have to worry about um, you have to worry about it a little bit out protruding out. But when I say I have I had some gnarly crashes, all types of crashes and after a while I just started flying it like you know any other quad and um and it's and it's held up. It's held up more definitely more durable than a GoPro on the top of your frame. If you're using the 03 as your primary camera when you're flying doing YouTube and short little stuff like that, even if you go up sometime with a GoPro, but you use the 03 predominantly for most of your flights, hard crashes, you having most of your hard crashes with the 03, you're really taking advantage of that $240 especially if you, i mean you're looking at a gopro um even the older ones you know 200 bucks and stuff like that so you're definitely saving there so we gotta we gotta put that as a pro and we gotta factor that when we thinking about the price which i did because i'm using right now predominantly the o3 camera as my um flight footage everything i uploaded recently been o3 footage um everything y'all can't lock eyes at me when i say penetration the penetration of the O3 system, dope. It's gotta be, it's, it's the best thing smoking for sure. It gotta be the best thing smoking. Um, you can probably get a little bit farther with analog, but as far as digital, man, that, I, that penetration is something good. I got certain spots that I done flew and I've been flying for, you could say years now. 
and I know where the breakup is with um 03 since 2019. Um, I know you know I've been flying the DJI V1, and I know where the um the old system break up from um the Vista to whatever. And the 03s, you find yourself um you you can um you can run out of the range. You really need to be using Crossfire, I guess even um even the 03 uh, radio link is a little better. I don't I can't. I can't speak on that and I'm, I'm upset I can't speak on that for the sake of this video they have everything included in one video but the penetration so far on the video part of the 03 has been amazing for sure okay another pro it's got to be the size I'm pretty sure this song vary from person to person but for me the the size is a pro the size is a little bit taller than the Vista they was able to smack and stuff that technology right up in a compact size and that's super duper awesome you ain't got a protrude now um i seen hd zero vts is a little a little big bigger than what i like and you can put it it's right into your frame it's the size has got to be a pro i think they did okay on that size for sure definitely they didn't throw out the books just because they got some good technology they didn't throw out Throw out, say bump the size. This is gonna be big. They did that kind of with the V1 system, the V1 goggles. That's crazy how big those goggles is compared to our binocular size goggles. And all of your pro pilots and all of them, they just got them on. Feel inside the Michael Bay movie, all of that, like a bug, a beetle, whatever you want to call it. But they in there and they doing the thing because the, the system's so good. But they didn't throw out the books. They didn't throw out everything and said we're gonna make this amazing, but we're gonna make it big as shit. So kudos for DJI for that. Bug shit. Okay, y'all, y'all hear that? that this that old mystical they playing back though. <laughs> okay. All right. So the next pro for sure gotta be the lightweight setup. Lightweight, easy, easy pro. Go to the O3. You have a lightweight setup, HD um setup, all in one. Your your um what you call that uh your mass when you go into something the um. What's the word? I'm gonna pause this while I think of this word right quick. All right, 30 seconds later, no luck. Can't think of the word, but it travels a lot of energy into the crash. I'm not sure what it is, but the, the inertia, the energy, you feel me? On a lightweight setup, you you can you can you know you hit with less. It's a it's a line to it because it can't be too lightweight when it breaks. But but you got all what you need and without the inertia, the energy. You feel me? The, it, we, we moving on the plug and play nature to the O3. The way you can plug in the um, plug it in, plug it in the flight controller, and you're done. You if you use the receiver, that's the receiver and the video transmitter all hooked up in one. It's super duper easy. It's less things to worry about, less things to mess up on on the build, especially for a newbie. Less things to go wrong when you have a camera i done went through it analog you got to see which part fell was it your camera your vtx um do you have osd it's a, it's a lot to figure out o3 knocks a lot of that out by having it a vtx and camera hooked together and receiver and what if you're using that so you gotta be you gotta be a pro for ease of use easy to um, install and right, let's talk about the goggles too these are my babies. The goggles tools, I love them, but it's some stuff, it's some things about them that DJ could have did, you know, different. We could have did different on them. Now, in oh, there's a couple of these things. As far as negatives, I gotta put them to rest because I see a bunch of negativity about these things, and I don't see no positivity about them. For one, let's hop right into it. The fitment. The fitment. Fitment is gonna be subjective, you know, for person to person. Um I don't understand how they completely uncomfortable on some people's face when they fit mine fine. I don't know. I, I think I got kind of a fat face. I don't know. Um, I, I, don't, I don't understand. I don't know what it is. Because um, some people face their fit and some some they just... A lot of people out here, they don't like how it fit the nose, whatever. They don't hurt my nose. But one thing about it, two things for sure. I'm pretty sure phone would fix a lot of that if you was hell bent on that was your only uh that was the only thing you was you blinking on so i think phone will fix that but um they fit my face fine it doesn't fit my face i've got, i've gotten it really close i ordered this like special foam okay while we're on this video uh first off still one of the best pilots 
ever. One of the best pilots ever. Um, one of my favorite pilots for sure. That being said, still what the hell, dog? You know, man, this is false information, bro. It's a right there, air unit in low power state, bro. You can't put out false information, bro. Like it's like, it's like LeBron saying that he don't like Nikes cause, cause they make him slower. Bro, people gonna listen to LeBron because you know he they ain't gonna wear Nikes when they play basketball, bro. People gonna follow you to the ends of the earth, bro. You got to be a uh, particular what you put out on your platform. Just bad information, though. Bad information. And then when I move it quickly, it gets super staccato. Uh, back to the video. The biggest, the absolute biggest downside to the goggles too in my opinion dji why did you do this they removed the record button i love the record button i love having a record button not having a record button um if you're using the vista you have to um swipe down and push record manually i don't believe unless they put it out an update i don't believe that is the automatic record feature with um using the vista so um that, that is a definite downside for me. I would like it to have a, a dedicated record button. Okay, man. We had to leave, man. Uh, the bus was absolutely eating my ass alive, man. They like the dark green of the park. I don't know what's up with it. Uh, so, a couple more things. The battery life is uh, a negative. It's, it's a negative, but you can always buy um, another smart battery to go with it. But they, they made it so the input voltage was so low that you can't use none of your flight packs with it. And it's, and it's a con. Um, my basic streetology on this is that what they did was um, they made this for the more consumer person, not uh, for uh, Vada users, not for hardcore FPV enthusiasts. And we out there flying packs after packs, you know, and they just didn't make it for um these these type of dudes. And that's why the battery life is uh is is it's not sufficient for the average FPV pilot, in my opinion. I think that's what it did. Okay, it's another one um for the cons is that the DJI goggles two only work with DJI stuff. At least the V2s with the V2s you have some kind of diversity uh you can you can um actually use them with analog you can use the same goggles uh that you fly dji with to fly your tiny whoops and stuff like that it's very proprietary uh the goggles too um much like the um the hd whatever you call it the fat shark uh, of, uh avatar goggles um they only work with that system if in my opinion if i was to go with that system i would much rather the uh, I would much rather use those HD avatar goggles versus using um, and uh, and dedicated analog goggles with the VRX on top of it, and that's gonna push me right into the pros of this video right here for us the goggles, too. Right now, this right here, big pro, big pro, right here. I can sit them on my face. I miss these days. Um, a lot of pilots come in um, at DJI V1s and V2s. They didn't fly the binocular size fat shark, but I miss the fat shark days. You know, coming out of the flight, throwing up on, up on your head. I could never do that with the V1s, V2s. I could never hand launch and, and, and throw them down on my face. I could never do that. And that is a big pro for these right here. If they didn't come out with these, I would have went with the um, Avatar Fat Shark Dominators just for the form factor alone. Okay, so a change that it made that made it uh, better actually um, with the V2 system, what they do is they drop the milliwatts down when you was unarmed. Um, unless you go into uh, you dis you enable you disable the uh the low power disarm or whatever well that's what they call it with analog they call it something else with DJI but they drop the milliwatts when you disarm um and then they they boost it up when you arm that's basically this they keep the heat down uh for the for the air unit but um with the O3 system with the goggles too what they do they uh they drop the 
they dropped the frame rate, I believe, and they need the Billy Watts. That you you still you still able to arm um, out in the field like before. What you have to do, say you crashed out of grass, so you crash out of grass, you flip upside down, you turn the mode, you go in turn the mode, you can see again to flip yourself back over. You get out of turn the mode, but now you out is the grass. So so what you want to do? You want to take off quick. To get out of the grass, you don't want to arm and let your propellers be idle in, in the grass. So your arm take off quick, but you don't have the you don't you can't see yet because it haven't went up to the high milliwatt yet. So so you have the arm blind. Um, whenever you crash out far um, away, you don't even have to be that far away from yourself because the difference in the um, the power is is significant. Um, you know, 25 watts c compared to 600, 800 milliwatts or whatever, you know, and now uh, you crash out in the field, you can actually actually still see where you at, you can perch, you, can, um, you can't get your recording, we talked about that, but you can perch on a building, you can perch somewhere, and actually can still see where you at while you perched and um, landed, and that's, that's something they changed for the better. Yo, y'all made it this far in the video. I mess with y'all a long way, for real, for real. If you wanna see me build a DJI O3 quad, there'll be the video on the right up here. And if you wanna see my three packs a day, where I struggle to try to get better, that'll be up on the left. Man, I appreciate you much love and respect. I'm out.